da 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 Hey guys, welcome to another stupid magazine unboxing thing? I don't know. It's Games Master again. Anyone who doesn't know about this, watch the last video, but basically, a uh, Final Fantasy XIV giveaway is giving away free codes in this. It's stupid, and I'm doing them to show how stupid it is, but whatever. GM 307 Sep September 2016. You can't really see that. Well, you kind of can. Can I? Nope, that makes no difference. Okay, print in the UK, £4.99. What have we got this time? We've got Pokemon Go because Pokemon Go is whacking the camera. Pokemon Go is the best thing ever. It's not, but let's see everything exciting we get in this. Ooh, smart moves. Nintendo's back. Pokemon Go takes the world by the Pokeballs. Nice joke, guys. Nice joke. Come on. Everything. Yep. The hell is that? Free gifts? <gasps> Paper, craft, arcade machines, and Final Fantasy XIV free trial disc, even though you can download it for free online, plus items. Oh, it actually shows you in this one. Does it show you in the other one? Where's it gone? Ah, it actually does. It means I don't have to show you mine this time. Ha! So that's the code that you're looking for. Again, same warning as I did in the last video. Before you buy this, if you go into a store and buy it, make sure that this is inside. Because there have been cases of people taking them and not buying it. So, better safe than sorry. Especially when you're having to buy something that nobody wants to buy. So, what do we have? We have... Trial disc for Final Fantasy XIV Online, showing the Heavens Wide artwork. 14 days free, up to level 35. Incl Ooh, includes Heaven's Word benchmark. That's semi-useful, I guess. If you don't want to go onto the website and download it. Same as the free trial, all you have to do is go onto the website and download it. But, at least they can pretend that they've given you something cool. There's this, which you need to cut out, so... Yeah, you can go to hell. I'm not making that. I don't have glue on me. In fact, yes, I'm going to see inside of the magazine for building instructions. Thank you. The magazine itself with mm, quite nice artwork of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Let's see what we've got inside of this one. I bet it's exciting and exhilarating. Hey, look, Final Fantasy XIV in. Oh, yeah, this is saying it's celebrating the its rebooted third year. But it's like, it is, but it's not September yet, so how do you know? We'll have a look at that one since everyone watching this is probably going to be involved. Look at that beaut- That's some skills with Photoshop right there. <laughs> oh god. So what we got? Ghost Week on Gravity Rush, eh, save. Umbrella Corps, oh my god, Umbrella Corps is really bad. I tried it, and I, I even recorded it, and it was like, nope, this footage is unusable. Alright, let's get through. What page was 14 on? 22. It should have been on 14. <sighs> I had a hell of it. Let's get through this quickly. Ooh, wait a minute. What page were the building instructions on? Let's just see inside. Thanks. Probably near the back. Event tickets now on sale. Don't miss. You can watch that online. Alright, so, old news, wait, what, what, 60 minutes, 8 minutes, 2 seconds, 68 minutes and 2 seconds, okay, I thought that might have been relevant, it's not, alright, let's quickly get through this, ah, here it is, folding all these, you need scissors, you need a spoon. That's a spoon. Spoon. You need... Do you need glue? Let's see. Cut out. Outside the machine there. See those white tabs? Those are for glue. Or your chosen adhesive of choice. Sticky tape works. Which... 
I actually do have some, but don't have scissors. I have a knife. <laughs> ah, and ironically, next page is our Final Fantasy XIV in. Showing off quite old at this point. Actually, this is September, so this is next month. So this is very old content at this point. This is the Palace of the Dead. Let's see. The square is it clearly not enough to make an animal more massive. And now it's trying to make it infinite. Say hello to the recent Palace of the Dead. A randomly generated dungeon. Oh my god, this it actually is about Palace of the Dead. This is very, very old. Well done, JM. Well done. Okay. Unlike other dungeons, it's randomly generated. Yep, we all know that. And anyone who's playing the game, I would hope, knows that before September. Uh, the, the, if you've got the hang rate log on, last issue, free items. This time we get a mask and the things. The next issue will be getting the Butland made outfits as well as the 99 Magic Prism Wings, which are actually kind of cool, but that's the trash item, but cool. Hold on, all three, and you can get the fat chocobo, that fat white thing. September 8th. Remember that, everyone. That's apparently when the next issue comes out. Wow. They really just did just jam in that section to make it so that the ret had anything in about 40 in. Ooh. Okay, I'll take that back. There actually is more in. This is actually pretty cool. They used some very nice artwork from when the diadem was opened. MMO must be celebrating anniversary. So you get one point back. This is actually a really nice thing. Story so far. Well, that's not true what they're saying there, but okay. A realm reborn is where it started. They're saying the next big patch was 2.4. Well, no, it wasn't. The next big patch was 2.1, then 2.2, then 2.3, then 2.4. Whatever. You can believe what you want to believe. But that's talking about Shiva and Izel. And that's talking about all the different things. So this uh, this issue might actually be interesting for someone who's a fan of Final Fantasy XIV. If there's much more than this. Then there's Heavensward, and again, patch... 3.3 is apparently the big one. Again, it's not. 3.1 and 3.2 and 3.3 were. That's how the game works. There isn't a one big update. Each of the updates are as big as the last. Oh, and it, it just spoils the entire thing. Thanks for that. It's got some nice things in about the fan festival from 2014. It talks about what they think is coming next. Yeah, they, they're talking about the fact that the moon was shown once. So, well, obviously they're going to use it again, but... Moon landings, war and blitz ball. Easter eggs. Wizards of Ozma. Yes, you can, there's, lo there's lots of old references. In fact, none of those were secrets. But okay, that was pretty nice. Let's continue on with our berating. Let's see, Dead Rising 4. I mean, I guess if you don't have internet access, things like this are cool. Gravity Rush, what'd that get? 85% complete. Wait, what? What does that mean? I, I just realized I don't know what that percentage thing means. They have a thriller meter, it has a three on the thriller meter. The story lacks context. Without knowledge of the original, you don't need to have played Gravity Rush, but it helps. Well, yes, that's generally how sequels work. Generally, the first... No, the second builds on top of the first. And you don't need to play... You don't physically need to play the first to play the second. But it does help with the story, generally. Alright, I'm getting annoyed. Civilization. Big and bold out. Return of units starting yeah. Mafia. No, we don't want to skip anything. Ooh, samurai. Don't know why I'm showing this. It's so stupid. Oh look, Nia. I wonder if we'll have another cross-gender character. 
Gwent. Because every game has to have a virtual card game. Ugh, I've not even halfway through. Ah. Uh, oh, look. Cooking. Well, I'm interested in this. For starters, have a diced Thailand shroom on a bed of raw spicy peppers. A pinch of rock salt on a crisp. I don't know what this accent is become. Lightly seared bobokin liver with a whole artery radish. Garnish with an alien herb. And for dessert, a burnt apple, for some reason, encased within two jelly. Prison and slathered in crust bee honey. What the hell was that accent? I don't know. So, thanks for... That looks disgusting. Even though it is just porridge. Although it's apparently liver. Whatever. Some nice Breath of the Wild stuff, which was given like... Okay, so June was when... June was when A3 happened. So July, August, September is the month this came out. Hmm. I guess that's a nice little extra there, telling you the damage that certain wet, ba wet bands do. And now they're going to tell you all about... Ugh, hey, listen. All about Zelda and how it came to be, because that's easy writing, because it's literally just go to Wikipedia. Did you not know how to Google it? This is the order the games came out. No Man's Sky, no Sky Sky. Parkitect, come on, let's get through this. I'm getting bored of you now, magazine. Starbound, I'll give you points. This did just rarely come, recently, come out of beta and into 1.0. So, good on you. This one, recent. I'm just checking. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm trying to see if this actually mentions the fact that it's just come out of beta. Well, it's got a 94 at least, so it's worse than Minecraft, but better than Terraria. Okay. I would say that it's a totally different game from Minecraft, even though there are building aspects. Better than an actual haunting. Ghostbusters is better than actually being haunted, but it's worse than Luigi's Mansion. Have I been missing out on these? Because these are hilariously stupid. Oh, there isn't any more. Come on, have some more, have some more. Umbrella Corpse. It's better than Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. That's debatable. But it's worse than Resident Evil 4. 48%. I would say Operation Raccoon City wasn't that bad. I really did not like this. This was boring. It's just... It's just Call of Duty with zombies. And the zombies aren't even important. Next. Seven Days to Die. Better than an actual real heat stroke. Oh my god. Worse than DZ. Ball of Cyberpunk there. Better than Hatterful Boyfriend. Okay. Worse than Snatcher. Who the. Inside. Better than Limbo because it's Limbo 2.0. But worse than Braid. That, that's actually an apt. Like. Judgment. Well done. 92%. Zero Time Dilemma. Worse than Time Hollow. Be no, better than Time Hollow. Worse than Virtue's Last Reward. I'm enjoying these because they're stupid. L Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Better than Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. Worse than Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Um. Did you just compare... Uh, say that a Lego game is worse than a game that's actually taking itself seriously. Okay, you suck. Next. 
Star Ocean Integrity and Faithfulness, Faithlessness, better than Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns, but worse than Mass Effect. Oh my god, what is that comparison? From the drought of the last few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Song of the Deep is better than Mike number 9. Well, that's not hard. But worse than Guacamole Super Turbo Championship Edition. Mm. Oh, I've just tried that, so. I am Setsuna. Better than Star Ocean Integrity. Better than that. But worse than Final Fantasy Se What? It's a yeah, fine, it's worse than Final Fantasy 7. Okay, good. Fury, which I quit. Because of I get I got a stupid ending in it that I didn't like. Um it's apparently better than Hyper Light -like Drifter, but worse than Shadow of the Colossus. It is nothing like Shadow of the Colossus. Well done. The bunny-headed bloke looks weirdly familiar. The game's striking character design are the creations of blah blah, a Japanese artist also known for the Afro Samurai series of manga. Eh, okay, I can see that. There is the similarity there. Fury was okay, but... Nah. Okay, Pokemon Go. I don't care. You got a 78. It doesn't deserve that. What? Dino... Dino Dini's kickoff revival. Final Fantasy Brave XVS. Wait a minute. We. Do we have. Bra yeah, we do have Brave XVS. It's the other one we don't have. Uh, I didn't get caught on by that game. Now, if you were reporting on the game that actually just came out, which was Mobius Final Fantasy, that one actually is good. Elder Scrolls Morrowind. Silent protagonists, well, most of them. This is cutting news. This is actually interesting, so I'll give you that using potatoes as controllers. This is this is interesting stuff that people might not see. So, paid 90 and we got something. Although there was the thing. And we're done. Get this line of description with the... Any quizzes? Uh, complete list of games that you need to get because so welcome to JM's carefully collated list of the most essential gaming experiences you can undertake right now if even one of the 50 games on here has passed you by get a shift on post haste that's British talk well all of these games do not relate to each other so it's very easy that someone could have missed one of these because someone who likes Animal Crossing New Leaf might not quite like Hotline Miami. Eight essential Pokemon Go life hacks that you should never actually try. Okay, sure. I'm going to get in a comfier position. Let's have a look at this then. Because this should be good. These usually are. Seriously, our writer is a fool. Don't actually tape your phone to a dog. Fair enough. Sweet. Number one. Sweet talk people into using a Pokemon attracting incense item so you can leech off them. A top tip to improve your manipulation techniques is reading international bestseller The Art of Seduction. That works. Two. Wanting to hatch eggs? Ha! Huh. Tape your phone to a ceiling fan. Record turntable, roulette wheel, or a dog, and have a lovely spine curling slouch in your favourite chair. Mmm, unhealthy. Actually, the the record turntable one works super well. Apparently, also people have tied them to dogs, so that's probably what what inspired that. Three. Go too fast, and the game knows you're using a vehicle. 30 kilometers per hour, that's actually very recent, so well done there. Is the cutoff point. So your phone, so put your phone on the back seat and drive at 29.9 kilometers per hour to beat the system. Just make sure you're uh, not on a motorway. That isn't correct. If you're going over 20 miles an hour, or kilometers per, wait, I'm pretty sure it's mile, whatever. If you're going over whatever the amount there has to be, 
which I'm sure is 20, a warning pops up saying, are you the passenger? You click yes, you're done. Whatever. Four, apply unorthodox Pokemon naming conventions to put opponents on the back foot. Examples, Student Loan, Hamble Lecter, I am armed, Tyson Fury. Well, Tyson Fury wouldn't be half as successful a boxer if he was called Mr. Wobbles. I don't know, I'd quite, quite like watching a boxer called Mr. Wobbles. That one is stupid though, because you could get in a lot of trouble for that. Five, ask Wesker for help. Five, if you absolutely must walk, make sure it's in a straight line, as the game measures distance by periodically calculating the straight line distance between where you are versus where you were. Become the Terminator and stop for no one. I don't think that's actually true. Six. Nothing you do registers if your phone locks. Setting auto lock to never is an obvious massive commitment. So just constantly fondle your phone with your thumb instead. Beware of accidental texts. That isn't correct at all. If your phone locks... Wait, are you seeing like the button on the top that locks it? Turn that off. Otherwise, the app never actually turns off by itself. Seven. Consider moving to California and living under Santa Monica Pier. It is the single most diverse Pokemon spawning location. If this is too unreasonable, simply purchase property near New York Central Park, which is also good. That's technically good advice. Sort of. And eight. Ignore warnings telling you to remain vigilant when playing in public. We advise maximising your game time by never looking up from your screen. Pokemon Go is your reality now. Now that is bad advice, even though it's obviously all in a joke. Don't give that as advice. Because children do read these. Oh my god, this magazine's so fucking stupid. And there's the advert again. So this was Game Master September. Oh my god, I'm going to shoot myself. Oh, I hope you got some enjoyment out of this. There was a tiny bit in it that was enjoyable. I enjoyed this bit with the Final Fantasy XIV and stuff. Let's just let's just look at the artwork. Ah, oh, calming, calming. Thanks for watching, guys. There's only one more of these left. May as well do it when it comes. Oh God, I'm gonna kill myself. I mean, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.